know Father's Day is coming up. Happy Father's Day. I said, you know, let's 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 go to San Antonio. Oh, oh geez. God. Oh. Oh man. Oh, oh god. Oh. Busting my balls out here. Jeez. That's what you gotta do as a man, as a father, as a dad. You gotta gotta douche, you know, stuff like that. I just saw a video about uh Lithium Cycle Super 73 came out with the the ZX. They're touting it as it goes to 30. Keep up with all the other bikes. Give it a better electronics, better controller. Higher ba battery capacity would be like the next level. So, uh, what what new bikes are out there? Super 73. Yeah, they do good. They have a niche market. You know, they love to advertise or market their design. It's, it's a combination of affordability, functionality, and usability. Oh yeah, please like, share, comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a comment, and also consider joining membership. A lot of great perks, by the way. Wonderful great perks. All right, have a good one. Have a nice one. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Alright everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. What's up everybody? What is up? What is going on guys? I am... Uh, I am nice and cooled off. Mostly dry now. Oh, I love these white gloves. Look at that. Nice and white. Ooh, clean. Giving me a little sweat stain right here already. Oh, anyways. Got to order. Got to order. Wow, a lot of headwind. Got to order all my uh, stuff for next year. Oh goodness! I forgot to turn on my power beats, or I forgot to turn on my music. Oh well. I'm not sure what I'm, where I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll go through. Should I go through the hidden lakes again? I feel like I should go through the hidden lakes. Come back around. I don't know. I haven't decided. Yeah, a lot of cars. Jeez. Not a lot of cars, but cars. Let's see how the brakes sound. Let me go in that corner. Turn on the music. I want music. Music. Alright, I got my music. I got my music. Let's get going here. Alright. Brakes still a little squeaky, but you know, I'll work on it. 
I had to change out the tires. Woo! All right. Today is a wonderful day to be in Texas. You know why? Man, I keep running over things. I just stopped running over things. That's what got me the flat tire. Anyway, today is a wonderful day because I just learned that uh, Texas just became the 21st straight to have a constitutional carry, which it doesn't matter for me because I'm already licensed licensed to carry. So uh, I'll probably just still keep my license, but uh, more of the reason to wear body armor now, since anybody can carry a gun. Anybody. You bought a gun, you carry a gun. Am I worried? Not really. Not worried at all. All right. So thank goodness. Thank goodness. Live in a free state. America. Oh yeah, another thing is, uh, I know Father's Day is coming up. Happy Father's Day. All you women out there who basically screwed over your man, you know what you did. You screwed over your man, had kids, now he's like stuck paying for it. You really screwed him over, all you ladies out there. Take your, <laughs> take your, uh, take your man out and thank him for supporting you. Goodness. So happy Father's Day, everybody. By the time you watch this, I'll be enjoying mine. But one of the things we're going to do is, uh, I, I think I said it already, go to Crafty Crab. But after that, my youngest will be going to camp. So, I have a problem with one of my car. I have a uh, intake manifold runner controller malfunctioning. The motor that tape controls the, uh, the intake on the manifold, intake manifold, that, that controls the valves. It's, it's, it's uh, lighting up my check engine light. So, yeah, I have to go uh, and fix it. So there's a car shortage. Well, there's a parts shortage, material shortage, uh, just shortages in general. And so I was a little worried where I can get the parts. So I know what it is. I know the part that I need. I go to O'Reilly's and boo on O'Reilly's, boo. I go there, they're, they're a supplier for the part. I figure I'll just go to my local O'Reilly's, let's see what they can do. They try to charge me double the price. Um, it's like a $150 part. The best price that I could kind of find is like 180, which is, is okay, that, I can manage that. O'Reilly's tried to charge me 288, plus shipping and handling, plus tax, they try to charge me $300. You know, at that price, for $200 more, I could buy the whole manifold intake valve. You know, I could buy the whole thing. Anyways, I hope I don't have to replace the whole intake valve. I'm just thinking I just have to replace that little motor controller. And uh, it'll get rid of that check engine light. But it's not going to come until, oh my gosh, middle, maybe, maybe. Maybe sometime next month, uh, June, June 9th, June 9th through the June, June 11th, which happens to be the day I have to, uh, I have to uh, take my oldest to camp, summer camp. And so my wife complaining, really good at complaining. She's telling me how horrible life is going to be her, be for her because. She has to. She has to drive the car without cruise control, because the Hyundai Tucson is the only car that has cruise control. Well, my truck has cruise control, but we're not taking my truck. Wow, water is really low out here. So, so she's giving me the boo-hoo story. So, being the man that I am, you have to. You have to. You know. You have to frame the 
scenario, you have to stage the scenario, you have to stage, you know, everything. So I mentioned that, hey, how about this? How about we go as a family and we go the day before, we go to San Antonio or Austin. Uh, the, the summer camp is right between San Antonio and Austin, in between right there. And so it worked out. So I'm like, hey, why don't we just go a day early? And uh, we, we picked San Antonio because we want to go to the river walk. And it's nice. San Austin has become like a, I don't know, <laughs> liberal hellhole. A uh, bunch of homeless people probably smoking weed. So I said, you know, let's, let's, let's go to San Antonio. Because I've been to San Antonio, it's pretty nice. And uh, uh, lake looks good, a little low, but it looks good. So uh, we're going to go to San Antonio, we're going to go to a hotel, spend the night there, and uh, go to the Alamo, go to the tower, go to the mall, go to the river walk, try to do as much as we can that one day, and then the next day, or... Oh, oh, jeez, God. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh God. Oh. Yeah, yeah, even with suspension. Even with the suspension and the seat post. Oh, I felt that. That was a big hole. I don't know what caused that hole. Wow, I did not see that thing. So, anyways, <laughs> good thing I was going slow. Ooh. So, <laughs> we'll go to San Antonio, and then I think we have to drop off our oldest at camp around uh, later evening time. So, and then from there, we could take turns driving back in her Hyundai Accent, the only car that doesn't have any issues. My truck has issues. The Tucson has that, that intake valve issue, or the motor controller issue. Wow, it is really low out here. All right, let's get out of here before I fall into another pothole, jeez. Oh man, busting my balls out here, jeez. Ball busters. So we're gonna go to San Antonio, and that's our little summer, that's gonna be our summer uh, vacation pretty much. Normally, we'd probably go to Canada, Belize, or maybe Mexico, or, you know. I was thinking about going on a cruise ship this year, or before the pandemic. So I was thinking about going on a cruise ship, you know, going to Florida, Disney World, not happening. We're just going to stay, we're going to keep it local. Not like, not Spanish local, not, not crazy local, but you know, locally, we're going to keep it, keep it local. So we're going to go San Antonio, go to Riverwalk. My youngest has never been there, so we're going to enjoy that. So you might see a travel video coming up sometime in the future. Covered from that pothole. That wasn't even a pothole. Was, I don't know what it was. Someone just dug a hole right there. Couldn't see it because of the grass. Jeez. So, anyways, see any cars coming? Nope. All right, that was a nice detour through the village of Hidden Lakes. So I'm really happy uh, we get a, I guess, a local vacation. You know, when life serves you lemons, you make lemonade. You know, so I gotta, 
that's what you got to do as a man, as a father, as a dad. You got to got to douche, you know, stuff like that to make everybody happy. You got to stroke everybody's, you know, you got to stroke everybody for, to make them happy. And when they're happy, you're happy. It sucks to do that though, but you, you know, you got to do it. Car behind me, I don't know why. They can pass me anytime. got the courage fast. All right, the red light at the up ahead. Oh, I am nice and cool. Got the flexi freeze vest. It's not ice cold, but it's still cold enough, and it is absorbing my body heat to a certain degree. All right, come over here. People know that I'm crossing. So yeah, looking forward to looking forward to the ride. I'm gonna wait for the light. So I'm looking forward to the, the little mi local vacation. It's just the weekend. Just trying to make most out of you know our situation, especially with the check engine light coming on the two saw so normally my wife would just go down take my oldest to summer camp come back the same day and then I would have to go pick her up although she's working out of the house so she may go pick her up also another note I I, I just saw a video about uh, Lithium Cycle Super 73 came out with the the ZX. The crappiest bike is now their second least crappiest bike. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. But it looks like it looks like they're touting it. They're touting it. They're touting it as it goes to 30 keep up with all the other bikes I don't know I don't know if you saw my uh, rad mini where I went to Galveston rode on the beach rode in the streets kept up with traffic you know I, I would say the bikes that I have they're fine I haven't seen anything uh, I have not seen anything so far that would make me want to buy another bike uh, you know, how much technology can you put into an electric bike? I mean, either you're going to give it more, more battery power or more, or better, uh, better, uh, gear or better equipment. Uh, other than the actual frame and, uh, and everything else, I don't know what else you can do. Give it a better electronics, better controller. I'm not going to go for radically different designs because, you know, they, they'll just have inherent problems and you'll be stuck with the bike. Jump! Oh, oh yes! Alright, so... Uh, I don't know. They, they made their crappiest bike a little faster. Price point a little bit more to go with it. I think it's based mainly on supplying issues. So, I don't know. So far, the bikes that I've seen, I'm not really enticed. Nothing nothing really piques my interest. The most interesting thing may have been the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly, but, you know, I've, I've already seen, I already know about, you know, all-wheel drive bikes, and, you know, as, as much as it sounds cool, looks cool. I mean, you think it would be cool and it would make sense. You could ride a lot better. You, you don't. You know, you spin out your front wheel. More weight to the bike. That's why you need a second battery pack. You got a second motor, right? You got a second motor. Yeah, you're, you're gonna, you know, 
we're gonna just more weight and so overall it just it just doesn't make sense so I'm still waiting for something and a, and a really good price point and something that that really piques my interest higher bat battery capacity would be like the next level like a bike is a bike it's a bike I mean how much technology can you put into a bike other than the frame you can go carbon frame you can make it lighter the best thing you do is you can make it lighter try to make it lighter or you increase the battery capacity those are like really the two things you, you do design how the bike looks that's for suckers that's for suckers those are for suckers you know sorry I have to say that but if you bought a bike because of the way it looked or the design of the bike you're you're a fool you're a sucker I just sorry I, I heard the I hate the first of your bubble it may sound harsh but you know what I was that fool at one time everybody's a fool all right everybody's a fool and when you realize you're the fool you're the idiot okay everybody's an idiot but once you realize you're an idiot that's when you can play the game all right play the game and then you won't you won't get suckered into buying a, a bike you eventually don't want because i see that a lot people buy they buy something and they're not happy with it you buy another bike or modify it to the point where it's you bought the wrong bike. The price you pay now is almost the price you could have bought the bike that you really should have bought. Anyways, so uh, what what new bikes are out there? Um, electric is really pushing. Like uh, I'm watching YouTube. Okay, not that I go out and search for this, and I watch other people and they they're talking it up. You gotta realize these people are trying to you know they're either paid to talk about these bikes uh their their shills you know and youtube the way youtube works you know you got to question why is this video in your feed right youtube doesn't make money because you're in your, you're entertained watching a video youtube makes money because they get paid to put a video in front of your face all right that's how youtube makes their money now Waiting for this uh, traffic to clear up. Man, I get these in front of my face all the time now. Wherever I go, I, at the house, at the pool, it doesn't really matter. It's just like they're always in my face. I'm trying to ride the bike and get away from them. All right. Woo. All right. Two bars missing. Three bars remaining. Just taking the ride home. I think I'll just take the roads all the way. Breaking the new tires. So people okay, we'll have their lights on. It's a little overcast. Yeah, so you know, just uh, you know, YouTube's just uh, become a big advertising platform at this point. There's some YouTubers that I really enjoy watching because they just make content just to make content. Uh, others, I don't know. I have to question. I question their motivation. But I, since I don't have cable TV, all have internet. I do get free Hulu. Although I technically I pay for it. Really, you don't get free anything. But but uh, you know, I like to keep up on things. So Electric has a quote unquote new bike, which is nothing more than red mini in my opinion uh, another folding electric bike fat tire I think they'll do good they just keep they stick to what they do and just make those improvements they'll do well uh, super 73 yeah they do good they have a niche market you know they love to advertise or market their design design I wouldn't buy a super 73 it just doesn't fit all my needs um, 
Ram Power Bikes has not come out with anything new for this year, or I don't know, maybe maybe they will at the end of the year. Juice Bike just copied Rad Power Bikes by doing a step through. Um, you know, people follow the market. I'm not saying they copy them, but you know, manufacturers or companies follow the market and number one bike, the number one selling bike is a bike that I'm riding right now. Beats out everybody. I, I, I don't know the numbers, but every time I go to the Rad Power Bikes website, the, the, you know, the Red Rover, it's there and then it's out. You have to wait for another shipment. It's there and then it's out. You have to wait another shipment. They're pre-selling these now. Before they they would not pre-sell. They would you would have to wait until they come in. They just they said screw it, just sell it. People are buying it. They're demanding it, even though the price increased. So this goes to show it's not. It's, it's a combination of affordability, functionality, and usability, right? The bag, the baskets, the accessories, the customer service. If I wanted to, I could spend like $10,000 on an electric bike that goes super fast and all this cool, sexy stuff, but why would I spend $10,000 on an electric bike? <laughs> I would just get a motorcycle and be done with and get a better performance probably. All you know, spending ten thousand dollars so you can skirt you know skirt the uh, regulation so you don't have to register your bike or pay insurance. That's probably the worst thing you could do because you most likely you may, probably you will get into an accident and you have nothing. You have no insurance. You have no insurance. You're at fault, 100%. Or even if somebody else was at fault, they could just say, you know, they could just say, well, you, you're riding an illegal bike. You're riding a, an illegal motorcycle, unregistered. You shouldn't have been even riding it. You're on your own. You're screwed. You're screwed. Anyways, I'm not sure that's what the person would do. That's what the insurance company would do. The insurance company would say, oh, this person wasn't even supposed to be on the road. So, no, we're not going to pay for his, you know, medical bills, lost wages, damages. Think about it. So, yeah, some things don't make sense. Anyways, I'm almost home. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the ride. I know I do. Oh yeah, please like, share, comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a comment, and also consider joining membership. A lot of great perks, by the way. Wonderful great perks. All right. I had fun talking to everybody here. I'll catch you all next time on my ride. I'm not sure if I'm gonna ride tomorrow or not. I think I will, it's gonna be sunny. And guess where I'm, oh, excuse me. Guess where I'm headed? To the pool. That's right, I'm headed to the pool. All right, bye everybody.